Welcome to our very first live stream here at Geeks Collective Network. I'm your host, Moby. We have a longer stream coming up on Friday the 5th for the um, upcoming game and Werewolf the Bad Apocalypse uh, Earth Blood. Back to back. So um, subscribe if you haven't already because you like do not want to miss that one. This is going to be a full, uh, the full game, the full release game. Uh, and we're doing a live stream on the Friday. The game releases on Thursday. So I've just given a, um, a day just in case with the downloads and getting everything set. But it's going to be full gameplay. First look at the game. Um, we're going to do a couple of levels to start with. Uh, so hopefully you guys can enjoy that on Friday. Today, uh, I just thought I would do a quick showcase for Dirt 5. Uh, from the developers Codemasters uh, to you know give you an idea of how the game runs and what kind of maps and cars you get in case you were thinking about purchasing the game for yourself. So let's go have a look. Um, the thing I love the most about this game is that it kind of combines a variety of like race games all together in one package so um, I think there is about nine types of races uh, with different different surfaces uh, dynamic weather and like beautiful landscapes uh, so what we'll do today we're gonna have a look at the campaign part uh, or the the career um, uh, we're not gonna have a look at any of the other uh, kind of modes in there uh, today we'll have a quick look at the garage as well and like car customization uh, but we'll mainly focus on the career part and just show you a couple of races uh, just to give you an idea of like how it looks and how it feels. Right, um, and a uh, quick disclaimer, I have turned off the music for the game because of copyright uh, purposes. Uh, so unfortunately, you won't be able, we won't be able to stream any music. You'll, you'll still be able to listen uh, to hear all these sound effects, uh, but music is not gonna be playing throughout the gameplay, just, uh, just as a heads up. Um, why don't we start with just having a quick look at the garage. Cool. So as you can see here, uh, by the way, I'm using a controller today uh, for the stream. Um, so if I uh, say things like use the triggers or the shoulder buttons, uh, please forgive me. I am streaming it off PC. Um, I'm using actually RTX 3060 um, uh, combined with um, Intel's Core i5 10th generation. So just a, a quick heads up on a quick like uh, idea of what uh, kind of hardware I'm using. Um, but yeah, I, I am using a controller with it. So uh, if I say anything like uh, the A buttons or B button or shoulders or triggers, uh, just so you know, uh, I'm referring to an Xbox controller. I'm using the Elite, um, the Series 2. So um, just a heads up on that. Okay, I'm just checking on the stream, making sure that it's running and fine. Right, so um, as you can see here, you've got uh, classes or makes of cars. Uh, there is a good variety, actually. I When I first started playing the game, I was a bit disappointed that uh, it was only offering me a couple of classes, but then I realized when going into the garage that there is uh, quite a big variety of cars. So you can see here all the all the makes on the top. Um, and then, so I'm using the shoulder buttons again to, to scroll between the types of cars and the makes between the cars. And then you can uh, also just use the sticks to go through like all the different cars, uh, preview them. You can purchase a car if you like. Uh, some of the cars are exclusive to the store, of course. Uh, but yeah, you can you can see here like there's a really good variety of, of, of off-road and on-road cars. Uh, so I'm going to show you a little bit of customization as well. And we'll talk about that in a moment. But I just wanted to give you a quick idea of like what kind of cars you get with the game. Uh, obviously, this is not everything I can go through like a huge list. But it's just a quick idea of what you get. Cool, so let me go back to the career. I'm just double checking on the stream. Thank you very much for 
putting up with me this is my um very first stream today so i'm just making sure that everything is running smoothly so um go back just to make sure that you guys can hear me and can see the gameplay as well right so um Again, as I mentioned before, there are about nine types of races, ones that are off-road, ones on uh, on asphalt. There are mix, mix as well, so if you like to kind of take the risk uh, in, a, in a circuit and go between on-road and off-road, you can do that. Um, this is kind of like the, how the career goes, so you start uh on 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 here uh with the different backgrounds so different areas so you can see the uh, kind of the ignition uh part with the um uh purple kind of pinkish background and then as i progress through i've gone into acceleration which has like a yellow background which is a little bit more of a fast pace um and that's as far as I, i've got actually i can i can kind of see that there is another area coming up i don't know what's it called yet i can't access it yet because you have to unlock um uh, races first to, to be able to access different areas but it looks like it's blue um and um if you guys enjoy this stream and if you enjoy the gameplay from the, this particular game please do let me know in the comments and i can do more uh, streams for this game so what we'll do today then is we'll just pick some random uh, different types of events, different type of races, so, so that you can get a, a good idea of the uh, of how the gameplay um, looks and feels. All right, so we'll start with this one. Um, and again, just to give you a quick idea on customization, unfortunately there aren't any like performance customization when it comes to cars. Um, which you know, it's 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 not um, a game changer for me, but I would have liked to see some sort of like boosts. I don't know; it might be something that that comes up later on in the game, but uh, for now, it's purely visuals. Uh, so it gives you the type of car or kind of like the class that you can play with. You can see some details there on the uh, top right of the screen, uh, uh, like the performance and handling, and you know some some stats for the. For the car itself um i'm going to go with this one and again the customization comes here at this part when you've selected the car for the race you can also obviously do it in your garage uh, this is the original one that i had and i was able to create kind of like a, a custom looking one for myself uh, and the way to do that is just uh, go into the create one and select a car and select that one and then you'll be able to go in to the uh like the editor to to uh, to kind of customize the visuals of your car and we'll go through that in a little bit but i just thought we'll start now uh, with a race and then we'll go back and do some customization so i'm going for this one Right, so that's a rally raid, and it is a mixture between on road and off road. So, really good example to start with. So, let's do this. There's a bit of a drop in frame rate. Uh, this is actually the first time I've seen it do that. Uh, so, I might have to quickly restart the race if it keeps that up let's try this again Quite sure if you guys are getting that bit of a lag on the race uh, it's dropping frame rates and quite laggy for me so I'm not quite sure if that's just the stream or if it's actually the performance from the game itself I'm gonna try and keep up Right, 
let's quickly have a look apologies again this is all a test for me uh, and I've never seen the game actually perform like this before so I'm just wondering what is going on Let me quickly have a quick look here Apologies for the technical difficulties. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. We'll do the same race. That's much better. I hope you guys can see the difference as well. So I don't normally use handbrakes actually in uh, sharp turns or corners um, because the control is amazing on this game. The cars are like really good to, uh, in handling, so. Um, I'll let you know when I've actually used handbrake in one of the turns, but normally I just literally just steering, not even using any brakes. So you can see there the different type of terrains, like just switching between asphalt and dirt, I guess. dynamic weather, a little bit rainy now and windy, Ooh, so I've had to use handbrake there just because I did not see that corner coming. There is a mini map on the bottom uh, left, um, I do normally use it but sometimes it, you just get so immersed into the game that you forget about a couple of like features. A little bit of a sharp turn, it's actually not that bad. Beautiful. I mean, I hope you guys agree with me, but the 
the visual side of it is just insanely good. I do have it on ultimate setting uh, set settings though. Everything is um, up to the highest the highest level of graphics uh, with a little bit of ray tracing as well. Uh, so you can see the reflections there in the water. Uh, but, um, but yeah, I think the game looks beautiful. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll, I was able to stream this on 1080 or anything higher than 720. So you might not be able to see the graphics, uh, obviously, as, as, as it's meant to be. Um, seeing it on like a, a smaller monitor with um, you know 1440p, uh, but I can tell you like it does look beautiful, and the frame rate is about I'd say 60 to 70 FPS at the moment. There we go. That's the finish line. Nice. Cool, so you get a bit of an animation just showing you the top three racers. And then uh, you see all the experience and uh, XP and uh, kind of reputation and um, cash and some rewards. Nice, some patterns. Yeah, obviously, <clears throat> all the rewards that you get from here are going to be uh, visuals because, as I mentioned, uh, the so far all the customizations that I can see are mainly uh, visual based. I don't, I didn't see anything performance. So, uh, you do get rewards after it. not every single race, but most of the races will give you rewards, and they're all going to be like patterns and um, new colors or finishes for the uh, colors that you can apply to the car. Right, so we did Greece, so let's go to Italy. And that's different type of cars as well, so what do you guys think? Let's go for this one. Okay, <clears throat> let's do this. So this race is uh, fully terrain, um, like dirt based. So you can see there, there's a little bit of snow on the ground, I think, as well. So you have to keep that in mind when you're, um, you know, turning in sharp corners, controlling the car in general. We are in Italy. Ooh, sharp, very sharp. Yeah, that's okay. I'm gonna have to say this game is a little bit on the easier side. I don't know if there, if I can change like how hard um, other racers are. I haven't actually looked at that before. I just started playing it without looking at the, the uh, difficulty settings, uh, but you can see already like I am very far ahead uh, at the very beginning of the race so uh, might be worth looking I might, I might actually have to look into the difficulties just to make it to give myself a little bit more of a challenge because I feel like I'm uh, kind of running the race on my own <laughs> I wish they also had some sort of boost or nitrous, but um, I don't think it is in this game. I mean, um, I'm going to be honest, I've never played any of the Dirt series before. I think I may have played Dirt 2 uh, back on the Xbox 360, um, but I don't recall. Like, I've always been kind of like a Need for Speed, uh, Forza Horizon guy, so uh, this is kind of like my, my first experience in the series. Um, that I can I can say that like I've I've been enjoying so far. Mm. 
So I'm using the right stick to look behind me just to see. Ah, oh, there's a couple of people behind me actually. That's too bad. Nice. So one thing I forgot to mention as well, and I'll show it to you guys when we finish this race, uh, is that you get um, objectives that you can finish, like bonus objectives. You can see actually on the um, kind of middle of the screen on the right hand side, uh, left hand side, sorry. Um, yeah, so the left center, um, there's a couple of objectives that gives you a little bit more of a challenge if you like to try and finish it during the race. There's also career objectives that you, um, you can do that gives you like extra bonus credits and I'm assuming a little bit more like uh, unique rewards or patterns that you can get out of it. And handling the car is just beautiful like I don't have to I'm not having to push brakes I'm literally just letting go of the acceleration every now and then just to balance the car and um, you know just put it back into a straight line basically and yeah nice okay so just go through uh, a couple of things here and then I'll show you the objectives as well and then we can customize a new car for the next race nice okay so let's do what's that one South Africa. Let's do I'm just trying to find a race where it's got something interesting. Okay, let's do that one. This is on ice. So what I'm gonna do this time is we'll create a new um some new visuals for the for our car here just so that I can give you an idea of how the customization works. So you get uh, patterns that you can apply to the uh, to the car to start with. Um, the patterns are uh, level dependent. So as you can see there, uh, pattern two is at level 23 and three is at 69, which I haven't reached yet. I'm still level 19. So I'm stuck with a pattern, the first pattern for now. And you can obviously choose not to have any patterns on the car as well. Um, Pressing the shoulder button, so the right button, uh, going to the next menu, uh, you can then choose uh, which layer that you want to change color for. So the base layer is red, so let's change that one to white. And you can see there as well, I can apply different finishes. So at the moment, I've only got the matte and, and glossy finish. Let's do it matte, actually. But yeah, there are metallic, metallic matte special and again all based on the levels so should be getting that soon cool so once you've done the base one you can go back up to the channels and change layers so uh we'll do that one uh, let's do something blue and purple and we'll change layer two to also purple Make it kind of uniformed. There we go. That looks nice. And layer three. You can do that one maybe black. Or like a grey. And then the last one is the wheel colour. Which I think is looks actually really nice with white, but we might actually be able to do it like the same purple colour. Uh, yeah nice cool so 
that's all done. Um, on the base layer, you can also choose to have a texture rather than a just a color. So if you want to have like a certain texture there, and you can change those. Those are the ones that you um, kind of get as rewards from the uh, the end of the races. So we can put a different texture there. Or you can obviously buy more as well. Let's actually buy a new one. Can I buy this one? Yeah, okay, cool. So we'll purchase that one. You can then uh, change the location of it and scale it up or down if you like. Do some customization, but we'll leave it as it is for now. It's just for a demonstration. And then we can change the, the colors for it. And so we'll try and do the purple one again or uh, 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 um, maybe black. Yeah, I think that's nice. Yeah, cool. Uh, then you can put a sticker for your sponsor if you're um, happy to do so. I think I've already got one on there that says zero one. That's just my own sticker that I've applied. Uh, but you can have a, a, a sponsor sticker if you like. Um, yeah, and those normally get uh, allocated like automatically uh, on the rooftop on the uh, uh, hood and on the sides as well, and a little bit on the back as well. So um, I'm not gonna do that now. I don't. I don't really like stickers on the car, so <laughs> I'm gonna leave that one. And the next one is if you want to apply your own sticker. So that's I believe that's the one that I've had there, but we can do one of these just because it looks cool. Ah, I like this one cool so again you choose it and then you can choose where you want to have it let's put it down there by the wheel like that nice and that's pretty much it so uh, again that's just quickly going through the customization of the car and what kind of options you get there so yeah just created a nice looking car. Cool. So we'll save and quit. And then we can choose that car to play the race with it. I think the colors are going to look really nice with the, um, with, you know, the ice kind of background. Icebreaker. In New York. Nice. Again, it looks beautiful. And it's very slidey. It's not too bad. Actually, I can still handle the car quite well. Um, yeah, just some of the turns are a bit sharp and it does drift. And these guys have just overtook me, but. I can get them. Ooh. Okay, I like this. This is a little bit more challenging than the previous ones. And it's a circuit uh, race as well, so we're now in two out of three. You just have to be really careful not to over um, accelerate in turns because it will drift. one I think
finish. I thought I came third there for a second when they put that up. Come. Cool. So yeah, I hope that gave you like a quick idea of like the variety of races that you get there and like the beautiful landscapes and you know dynamic weather um and the sort of cars that you get. Again, you you're only seeing the fir the very first part of the game, so keep that in mind because obviously there are going to be a lot more variety once you open up uh, a little bit more of the like the, the 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 career or the campaign. Um once you've done like a certain amount of races you then open like a, a special one every now and then so um it's it's the same type of race but it's um um it, it gives you a little bit more um bonus kind of objectives and uh, rewards and xp um and then it moves on to the second area uh, and uh, you can see all the like career objectives and the event objectives on the uh, bottom right of the screen there so um i need to complete 10 ultra cross events and overtake in mid air seven times that's going to be a good challenge um and then i've got like each event has its own different like unique objectives so you can see which what kind of stuff that you need to look out for or you need to perform before you go into the race um, and then once you've done a good amount of like normal events here, uh, you then get something called the throwdown, which is on a different menu here. I haven't gotten any, uh, like I've got a new sponsor. So you get new sponsors uh, every now, uh, now and then as well. And each one will obviously give you different like uh, benefits. So you just have to look out for, uh, you know, new ones that open up. I am I'm looking forward to having uh, Beats by Dre because uh, it looks just, just looks really cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm currently going with Codemasters, which are the developers for this game. Um, uh, but yeah, Throwdown. Going back to Throwdowns, uh, this is um, a bit of a special event. Uh, it's it's only between you and another racer. So um, again, nice, good night, like good challenge. Um, I could potentially go for a different car, but I really do like the performance on that one. So I'm gonna stick with the car that I that I know, and we'll go into that event just to give you an idea of how that one looks as well. Crowd's going wild as the drivers make some noise before starting. Okay, so this one is a circuit, I believe. And as you can see there, it's just me and Lionheart. And sharp turn, and another sharp turn. Oh, and he's going to overtake me there. No, that's good. We're good. I am having to use, obviously, handbrake in these ones because the turns are quite, like, sharp and... Um, at, at, like after like a speedy run as well so like straight straight forward when you speed it up and then a really sharp turn that one is not too bad this one is crazy almost got it almost got it ah, I was still able to go in before him that's good he's right behind me just need to look out for those turns not that bad if you do it slowly enough, but you will have to hit the wall just to straighten up the car. I think it makes it easier sometimes, actually. Tiny bit of handbrake, and then this one is just nice and smooth. Expected. Come on, come on. Ah, nearly. Cool. Again, it's not too hard. I'm not gonna lie. It's quite easy. Um, 
that's actually something I'm going to look at, at right now before we end the stream, just, uh, just so I can have a quick look to see if there's more difficulties that can be applied, just so you guys can have an idea about that as well. Right, so let's go back to profile settings. It's in here. There we go. So we can do it. So I was on mid um, on medium, so we can go up to very hard. I'm gonna leave it at hard uh, for now, just to see how that feels like, and then I'll take it up if I need to. Anti lock. So I've got everything as well to low, which means that I don't really have any like. Um, like help from the AI transition automatic, obviously preset intimate and intermediate. So you can do it casual, intermediate or advanced. That's not too bad. Yeah. So I'll change that to hard now and leave it at that. But, um, that's just a, a quick one for today. As I, as I mentioned, um, it was more a preparation for the, uh, upcoming live stream on Friday, the 5th. Uh, again, stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, this is going to be uh, for the game uh, uh, Werewolf Earthblood. And uh, today I just wanted to quickly do a demonstration and kind of like a gameplay guide uh, in case you were thinking about this game uh, of purchasing it for yourself. So I hope I've given you guys a good idea um, of how, how, the, how the game feels and uh, what kind of like gameplay you, um, you will be getting with this game. Um, thank you so much for, for watching and being here and putting up with the um, all the technical difficulties to start with. Hopefully we'll uh, learn from the mistakes for next time. Um, yeah, thank you so much.